This conference will now be recorded. Now, we are going to discuss about the consumption based planning. Are you right? Consumption based plan. planning. All right. What is it? Okay. 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 So, in that we have point for order oh. point planning. Okay. RPP. In that you have automatic reorder point planning, manual reorder point planning. That's right, yes. Forecast based planning. Yes. And time based planning. Okay. Okay. Now we'll discuss about the one by one. So already we have seen about the discussion of this reorder plan. And now let's we start the execution. Okay. Steps to perform automatic ROV. All right. So create a material master. Yeah, can hear you. So I'm going to create a metal master now. MM01, industry sector, mechanical, metal type, ROH. Are we going to automatic first? Yes, we are going for automatic reorder point planning. All right. So I'm creating a material master. Coming to the views, basic data one, purchasing, MRP one, two, three, Forecasting, general Pandora storage one, storage two, accounting one. Then in organization levels, enter plant and store location. Material, quant basic inter measure, material group. Press enter. In the purchasing view, as usual, you enter. Purchasing group. Right. Now in MRP one, observe guys here. In MRP one, yeah. MRP group, double zero double zero, and MRP time. We are discussing automatic reorder point planning. Therefore, the MRP time for automatic reorder point planning is VM. VM stands for automatic reorder point planning. As the planning is automatic. So here I am not going to maintain the reorder point. System itself will displace the reorder point. Okay. Mm. Now, MRP controller. Who controls the planning activities? Depending upon the MRP type, the lot size will take place. Now coming to the lot size, it is fixed order quantity. You are fixing yeah. the order quantity. And enter the fixed lot size. For example, yeah. oh, yeah. one thousand. It means whenever the stock of this material reaches to the reorder point or less than the reorder point, the system will generate the requirements. For how much quantity the system will generate the requirements? We have decided already as a fixed order quantity. That is 1,000 tons of the material. Okay. And how you are going to get this reorder point? That we'll see now, because it is automatic. Because the concept itself is a automatic reorder point planning. That the reason system itself will displace the reorder point. Okay. Yeah. So these are the settings to be maintained under MRP one. Press enter. In MRP two, okay. it is a raw material. So always the procurement type will be F. External procurement. Enter plan delivery time. There is number of days you are going to receive the material from the supplier. And GR processing time. So number of business working days required. To receive the material and check the, to check the quality of the material and schedule margin key for scheduling an order. Press enter and in MRP3, period mm. indicator. So we are planning for monthly wise M and availability check 01. Press enter. Now we are in forecasting view. 
in the forecasting view click on the consumption values okay and here we supposed to enter the previous consumption values of the material here we need to enter the previous consumption values of the material enter okay enter the previous consumption values of the material yes. example i have given some sample consumption data right then click on the main data you will be back to forecasting view then again click on execute forecast okay then select the forecast date press enter click on execute forecasting again click on execute forecasting okay now the system displays the order point 73.740 don't confuse it is not 73 comma 740 it is 73.740 now suppose if i go back to mrp one view enter are you able to see guys the reorder point 73.740 so it means no, sorry. whenever the stock of this material reaches to this reorder point less than reorder point the system will generate the requirements for this fix Okay. Okay. Enter, 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 enter. In accounting one, valuation class, price control V because it is raw material, price unit one, and give some price. Say. So metal has been created. Now next step, maintain. The stock for the material. Maintain the stock for the material. Okay. Yeah. By creating PO purchase order and GR. So purchase order transaction code is ME twenty one N, and GR transaction code is MI zero. now i will purchase this material me 21 n oh god yes yeah yeah enter the vendor press enter enter purchasing data purchasing group and company code material enter the price Plant and store location. Enter the price, plant and the store location. Now save the purchase order. So next create a GR. Process queries. Yeah, my G. Attack with item. Okay. So, so G R has been created. So it means. We are reaching the stock of the material. Then, after this, we are monitor stock. I will check the stock. And then.
letter material. The stock of the is now 100. It's not 1 lakh tons, it is 100 tons of the material. Yes, yeah. it, is, it is available at this plant and storage location. Now, what we do is create new system GI to production order. So, the transaction code is MB1A with the moment type. 261. 261. Plant and storage. Press enter. As of now, I am using the existing production order, but normally you need to create a production order. So I am issuing the material to this. Material and quantity. Material and quantity. Oh, right. And that's what we're 17 hours in there. Quantity yeah. and the A. And the B. Yeah. Enter the clear quantity set. Again, if you want to refresh, the standard will become now. How much it is? 70. So available stock is 70 and your reorder point is 73 point. So available stock is less than reorder. Okay. So again, okay. again step is mm -hmm. and here we form available stock is less than the now, run MRP or MRP run. The transaction is MB0. We all want to Yeah, so what is there? Stock is stock. Say you will order coin, take some stock off, and then you see what happens to it. Enter the material, the MRP area, plan, and processing key, NDTCH. It stands for Net change for token horizon and create purchase equation. Here you select the option three planned orders, then schedule lines three, three reference to schedule lines, MRP list one, planning mode is one, and scheduling is basically and display. And all these parameters are standard even in the real time. Activate display material list. Okay. Okay. Press enter. Press enter. Okay. Guys, observe here. What happened? Planned orders created. Are you able to see? Yeah. Planned orders are being created. It is one. Are we, are we can't print this from this screen now? What are oh, we can't print this? You cannot take to the print of it here. Right. So plan order is created here. Now the plan order is further converted into plan order is converted into purchase position. We call it a PR MD 04. I'll go to the transaction code MD 04. Enter the material MRP area plan. Press enter. 
Okay. Now, if you click on this middle tab, it will display the middle monster. Now, see you guys here. You can observe carefully. Your available stock is seventy. The year of quality is seventy-three. It is less than the year of quality. Yes, Therefore, the system has created a planned order for how much quality? It is for one thousand. From where you got this one thousand? Because of fixed lot size. Yeah, guys, are you following? Yeah, we're following. Yeah. Okay. How you got this one thousand? Because in the middle monster, we have already fixed that is as a fixed lot size. Yeah. Double click on the plant order. Okay. Get this thing. This is a plant order. At the bottom of the screen, you can see convert plant order to. Click on it. System will take you to the screen. If you want to convert plan order partially to purchase execution, you can reduce the quantity from 1,000 to 500. If you want to do partially, if not, save the order. If not, save the order. Then the system will throw a message: "Planned order so and so is converted to purchase execution so and so." Are you able to see, guys? Yeah. Now, click on the refresh button here. The moment when you click on refresh button, planned order is replaced with purchase execution. Okay. Now, see here, observe. Up to the planned order, it's PP department, production planning. So purchase action will come to the MM department, purchaser. Okay. Yeah. Planned order is coming to purchase action and DGR. Now create PO with reference to PR. So system will come to you and it will be an automatic request. Double click on the purchase execution, and here convert purchase execution to purchase order. <coughs> now you place the cursor on the purchase execution and click on allow. So from the purchase execution, the data will be displayed here. Okay. So and here you can enter the store location right up here. So again, came back to MD04. If you refresh, PR is replaced with PO. Are you able to see, guys? Yeah. Now keep this screen as it is. Now you go to create a GR. I will open another screen. I try and try to create a GR. Yeah, fine. GR. GR against PO. PO number plan at the moment of this. So I have to type it. Okay. So. <laughs> GR is created. Now, if you go back to MD04, if you refresh, 70 plus 1000, totally displaces 1000 here. Yeah. See. <clears throat> okay. Me, if you go to stock overview, here also you have 70, and you pick up 1000 here. Okay. Yeah. Next is then create GR then start 
So these are the steps to perform automatic reorder point plan. Okay, guys? Is it clear? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Now steps to perform for manual reorder. Manual. First step is I'll create it. Sure. These steps are common. Yeah. Sure. Do we uh, are these notes going to be made available? Pardon? Pardon? Are we going to get access to the notes you're making here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you cool. The same process here also. Okay. The same yeah, process. no problem. Again, go to create a Jira master. So all these are very important. So first we are saying external procurement. When you understand the external procurement, then we start the internal procurement process. And coming to the views, we need to select basic data one, purchasing MRP. General plan of storage one, storage two, plan of storage. Description, base user, the purchasing group, purchasing group. In MRP one, as usual, the MRP group. And MRP type is, now we are discussing manual, so VB. Manual reward point line. Here I enter manually, let's say 90. The MRP controller. Depending upon the MRP type, the lot size will change. And here the lot size is HB. HB is replenished to maximum stock level. Therefore, you enter the maximum stock level over here. Enter the maximum stock level over here. Okay. In MRP2, as you said, the current type of enter plan delivery time, GR processing time, and skip the margin key. In MRP3, we re indicator, see, I don't know what to do. So, you don't check the output of the period. Enter, 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 enter. In the accounting one, valuation class. <laughs> so in the metal monster, the changes have been taken place. Now, maintain the stock for the material. For that, you create a PO and GR. Next, stock value and then we enter the material plan storage. Okay. How much stock we have? 100. Good. Yeah. Now I will issue the material to production. Goods issue. Enter the moment at 261 plan and storage. Center. As of now, I am using the SAP given standard production order. Then, so. Now, again, if you go to stop, we'll go. this order will become now. Yeah, sure, crash. 50. 
so your available stock is less than the reorder point now run mrp or your rp one yahi zero to zero डिफरेंट प्रीवियस एंड How much the reorder point is there? Ninety. How much the available quantity? Fifty. Therefore, yeah. the system has created a planned order by replenishing replenishing the stock. Replenishing the stock means this available quantity fifty is reduced from maximum stock level one thousand minus of fifty. Okay. The system has created planned order. Yeah. As usual. Double click on this planned order. System will take to another screen, and here convert planned order to purchase. Purchase to purchase. Then again say, again come back to end zero four. Then again click on refresh. Why? Planned order is missing. Purchase the cushion. Yeah. Double click on the purchase the cushion. You get another screen. So convert PR to PO. Convert PR to PO. Now there is a cursor to PR. Click on that. So system automatically copy. Set. Refresh. Refresh. PR is replaced with PO. Now, yeah. Finally, create it. Yeah. Right. Okay. I think we go to the user for see this. Fifty plus nine fifty. The stock for stock is one thousand. The similar manner. If you go to stock for your B, refresh. Okay. So the same steps, the same procedure. There is no change in the difference. Okay. Yeah. Next steps to perform forecast base planning. Because we need to create a change for the blockchain. Yeah, this is the one. Create a material faster. Map zero one. So for each and every planning, we need to create a new material. Coming to the views, basic data one, purchase one, MRP one, two, three, forecasting, storage one, storage two. Click on the storage, data storage. Let this be done. Safe basic browser. Achieve the goal. Achieve the goal. Come to the MRP one. MRP group. And the MRP type is VV. VV stands for forecast based planning. So okay. how do you get a point? At it. The MRP controller. At lot size is lot for lot order quantity. So lot for lot order quantity means for how much quantity you are planning for that planning 
for that quality, the system will generate the quality. Okay. Okay. So here you don't have any break-even point in the case of forecast-based planning. So forecast-based planning is by taking the previous consumption values, we'll get the forecast values, and we'll go for planning for future periods. That is for future months. The center in MRP two. We don't take off. There is a extra component. Plan delivery time. Regular cost of it. And as usual in MRP three, same. Now you go to forecasting. In the forecasting view, there is a option called forecast model. So here I'll make a constant model. And here you have historical periods. Historical periods means the completed periods. Forecast periods means for future periods. So it means I am taking the previous ten months consumption values, and I am going for planning for future ten months consumption. Got the point? Yes. So the point is now click on consumption values, and here I will enter the the previous consumption. Values of the material, and here the previous consumption values of the material. Enter. Then click on main data. The center. Enter. Values of the material. Is control. No. My understanding. After creation of material master, execute forecast. The transaction code is MP three zero. Go to the transaction code MP thirty. Execute forecast. Enter the material, MR area, and plan. I mean, think of the future. Press enter. Click on execute. Yeah. Yeah. Click on historical values. It will display the previous consumption values. Therefore, click on execute. Select the forecast date. The moment when you press enter, observe guys. The system has generated the requirements for future planning horizon. Are you able to see? Yeah, guys. Hello. Hello. Yeah, we're here. We're listening. The system has generated the requirements for future planning periods. Okay. So these are all the forecast values. Okay. Now save the document. The forecast values are saved. So once we execute, what happens is here, forecast values are created. Next step, these forecast values are further converted into planned orders. By running MRP MD zero. Activate sub MD zero. Activate the center. Now this time you observe, guys. How many planners are created? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because our historical periods and future periods are also for ten months, so the system has created planner for ten months. So okay. So what happened here after running the marking? Planned orders are created. Now. Convert planned orders 
to purchase positions in the chain of four. Now I'll go to MD zero four. Enter material MR area and plan. The center. Now here, or you will see there are so many plan orders here. You can yeah. double check on the plan order, and you can yeah. convert the plan order into purchase position. Right? There is one yeah. option. Or else, what I will do is, I will collectively convert. Collect to conversion of land orders to purchase request. As you wish, if you want to create individually, you can create, or you can go to the transaction code MD T. So I'll go to the transaction code MD one five. Here enter the plan. Select the option material. Press enter. Now all of you see guys here. Are you able to see these matters, right? Yeah. Yeah. At the left side, at the corner, you have select all. So system select all items. Click on convert online. Okay. Click on convert online. I'll see what happens. I'll just keep on save. This planner will keep on change over here. So I'm going to save it. I'll see. Finally, we got the statement. Ten planned orders are converted into okay purchase requisitions. So if you go to MD zero four. If you refresh, you can see all the purchase requisitions. Okay. Yes. Now to convert from plant orders to purchase requisitions. Now, what I'll do to do is <coughs> create PO for multiple yards. You can do it. Okay. Again, here you got purchase equation. If you double click on purchase equation, system open the screen, and you can convert that purchase equation to purchase order if required. Or else, collectively you can do it. Okay. So for that, go to the transaction code ME twenty one N. Click on document to overview. Then. Click on selection variant. Then click on purchase requisition. So here you just enter only material and plant. Execute. Enter only material and plant. Execute. Are you able to see, guys? Ten purchase requisitions yes. here. Yes, we follow. Now what we need to do? Just yes, select, click on, adapt. So select the PR, click on adapt. Select the PR, adapt. Select the PR, adapt. So like this, we are creating a purchase order for multiple PRs at a time. Close it. Enter the vendor. Purchasing permission. Purchasing group. And here we enter the price. Enter the price. Are you sure? So we are creating a single PO for multiple purchase requisitions. See here, 
Even you can see your hand will touch it. So, so purchase all this free tool. Suppose mm -hmm. if you go to FD04, you will see only single purchase order, common purchase order. Are you able to see, guys? Yes. Yes. Now, finally, go to create a GR. And here, one important point here is you need to activate these indicators for all items carefully. If you don't activate it, system will not create a GR. Only it will create the GR for first item. After these indicators, so. GR is greater. If you go to stock over here, that will be zero for Straight away, you can see our ability. Mm -hmm. Are you see, guys? Yes, we see, yes. Then you go to monitor stock only and then the material plant. You can see the stock. <coughs> okay? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So like this, after creation of you that same step. Create a GR, then now zero, with the monitor and zero one. Then finally, monitor, stop. Okay, guys? Yeah, yes, yes. The final one is. Steps to perform time phase plan. See after the same procedure, you copy all the steps and push it here. Got it? Easy. So these are the, the total planning. That takes place under consumption phase plan. Automatic reorder point planning, manual reorder point planning, forecast based planning, and time phase plan. Okay. So, some settings will be taken place changes in the middle post. I will show you the changes. What will the changes? I will take existing material and I'm going to do one more So, normally you will select all the views. So I will show you the checklist with the PPP rules. The RP is a contesting. Matter so much. In MRP1, the MRP group and the MRP type should be R1. R1 refers to time phase planning. Now time phase planning R1 you need to maintain planning cycle. So when the planning will take place. So in the system it is as per the planning calendar, every second Tuesday the planning will take place. That is seasonal planning. Oh, then mm -hmm. MRP controller and law sense. So what are the changes? The MRP type is R1. Enter the planning cycle. Then MRP controller law sense are the same. Next, check is the express in MRP2. So, here also you need to maintain planning in Canada. That is every second to join the plan. That's it. And the remaining things your MRP3, your forecasting, then click on consumption values, maintaining these values, everything remains the same. And you need to remember the same steps. Got the point, guys. So this is about the 
external procurement. So, consumption based planning totally deals with the external procurement. Okay? Yeah. Where PP integration with MM Express. Okay. MM stands for that is Got it? Let me know any doubts on this consumption based planning, guys. Say that again, sorry. Any doubts on the consumption based planning, please do let me know. Yeah, okay. Is it clear, all of you, about the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. external procurement, right? So, first of all, we need to buy the raw material. Then only we'll think about the production planning activities. What's the point? Fine. Now, we'll start the internal procurement process. Now I will start the internal procurement process. Okay. So here we are going to see internal procurement process. So to perform internal procurement process the following master data is maintained okay what are those guys material master that we have done bill of material we have done work center we have done routing okay guys yeah guys this is the first step I can say the first step is we need to maintain all these master data got the point guys yeah hello Sorry. Hello. Are you following, guys? Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah. Yeah, we're taking notes. Yeah. So we are now we are starting the internal procurement process. That is production process. So before starting the internal procurement process, what are the necessary activities and the information we are supposed to maintain in the system? That is, we need to maintain the master data, which are belongs to our module production planning. So what are the master data in PP we have discussed? Material master, bill of material, work center, and routing. This is the first step. Okay, guys. Now, let's, I will try to create a production order. Just you observe, or of you. That is yeah. CO01. Yeah. Okay. Enter your finished material, production plan, planning plan, and order type. Press enter. Let's say my requirement is 100 tons of the material. Production end date. System will take the start date automatically. Okay. Now, at the top of the screen, there is option called check material availability if I click on check material availability it means to produce 100 tons of this finished material whether the raw material stocks proportionally are available or not you can check here if you click on material availability see guys all of you what the system will throw the message non availability of the material are you able to see yeah 
non availability of the material means there is no stock of the raw material to produce it what are the raw materials to produce this end component finish component if you click on this component oreo it will disperse so these are all the raw materials so system saying that there are no stocks for this raw materials go back now click on this capacity you can check the capacity yeah. of the work centers so what the system says capacity availability at all work centers it means to produce uh, this material okay, cool. okay the capacity is available for all your work centers or operations so what are those operations so these are the operations right lathe drilling punching boring painting all these operations got the point guys okay. yeah so if you had no capacity available yeah it would it would throw it would give you a warning and say yes compulsory, no. yes, compulsory. it will it will throw the capacity is not available to produce this yeah. material okay and and the same if you had a material shortage it would uh, it would give you the That's same the yeah see what i'm doing is before showing the stock in the system the raw materials i am showing you if there if there is no stock of the raw material what the system will display if you click on material availability it says not available to the material okay, okay. So, that's really good that's really good yeah mm -hmm. Okay, that, so that, that you can understand. That will okay. help us massively. Yeah, so that you can understand clearly. So first step is you need to maintain the master data. The second step is maintain stock for the sub components or raw material. Is it clear, guys? Before performing that, the second step, I have shown you. Okay. Yeah, that's really good. That, yeah. that will really help us. Yeah, welcome, guys. Welcome. So, to maintain the stock for the subcomponents or raw materials, what is the procedure? So, as usual, create a PO and GR. That is, what is the transaction code? ME21N and MIGO with the moment time 101. This is one procedure. Normally, we follow this procedure in the real time, or else I will go alternate <laughs> way. GR without to PO by using the transaction code MB1C with the moment I 501. Yeah. Guys, the second option we never use us in the real time. Please remember, just in the training program, I am showing it. This is another way how to show the stock of the raw materials. But normal process in real time is create a PO and create a GR with moment of 101. Yeah. Now, I'll go to the transaction code MB1C. The moment type is 501, plant and store location. Press enter, R dash TM001. Let's say I'll maintain some 10,000. What are the stock? R dash GM002. Let's say uh, I will maintain 1000 tons. 1000 tons. R dash TM003. 1000 tons. R dash TM004. 1000 tons. Okay. Save. Now we have maintained the stocks, right? Suppose if I go to create a production order. Now see, 
before maintaining the system or after maintaining the system? How the system behave now? I'll enter the hundred. Option end date. Press enter. Suppose if you click on the material availability, all of us here, guys. Mm -hmm. System is throwing a message. All checked materials in order are available. Are you able to see? Yeah? Yes. All of you guys. Previously, you are not getting this this uh, this message. It displaying as non availability of the material. Now, once you maintain the stock for the subcomponents, all checked materials in order are available now. Yeah. Okay. So first, I have shown you without maintaining the stock of the raw material. Now I am showing you with maintaining the stock of the materials. Okay. Yeah, guys. Yeah, that's really good. Just one second. Just hold on line. One second, one second. No, no problem. Actually, now we are starting our PP production planning. Actually, exactly. I want to show one diagram so that you can understand it. One second, guys. Yeah, no, no problem. At all. Yeah. Now we are actually entering into the production cycle. This is the overall the production of your cycle. Okay. Now we'll perform these steps now. This is your enter production cycle. Okay. So order proposal means first we have maintained all the master data. Then production order proposal that is checking the raw material stocks, order creation. Mm -hmm. Availability of the raw materials, capacity planning with a check rate, release order, take the printout of the production order, material with withdrawal, confirmation, GR, and order settlement. We call this is a total production process cycle. And these are the steps we'll perform. Now, here what I'm going to do is there are two ways. To create a production order one is you can run the MRP for the finished material okay and yeah. from that finished material once you run MRP plan order is created then plan order is further committed to production order then the process goes on now first what I'll do is I will show manual creation of production order initially first I will execute that cycle after execution of that cycle, again I will show running the MRP for the finished material, then executing the MRP, generation of the planned orders. There is nothing but your demand management. I will show that one. Is it clear, guys? Yeah. So, first I will show the cycle manual creation of production order. Okay. Then we will yeah. run the MRP. Then again we will see another cycle. Okay. So that it will be okay. clear for you guys. Now, first step, all of you see here, guys. So, you have maintained the stocks. Now, 
create production order. The transaction code is CO010203. Enter the finished material, production plan, planning plan, and order type. Enter. This is how we write a lot of our production orders here. Yeah. In the general quantity, enter the quantity, 100 tons. Now, enter the production start date. So today we are going to start. And production end date. Okay. Now, yeah. Just, just, can I just stop you there for, for one minute? Yeah. You know, the box below where you're typing the scheduling box. Yes, yes, we'll discuss. As of now, oh, okay. let, it be let it be scheduling backwards, okay? Yeah. I will discuss in future, okay? Uh, okay, fine. I will discuss about the scheduling. Now, let it yeah. be scheduling backwards, as of now. Okay, Now, fine. next you have assignment tab. If you click on assignment tab, it displays who is a production supervisor, who is a planning responsibility MRP controller. Apart from that, just now I told you, I am creating production order manually. Suppose if you have if this production order is coming from planned order, let us say it will displace planned order here. Are you able to see guys here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there is no planned order because I am creating manually. At the same time, make to order process. Suppose if it is coming from sales order, it will display the sales order here. Okay? But yeah. neither we are coming from plan order nor coming from make to order. So that's the reason system is not displaying any documents here. Okay, guys? Okay? Fine. Yeah. Apart from that, apart from that, observe carefully here. Reservation. System is going to create the reservation. System is going to create the reservation. For which material the system will create the reservation? For the sub components, for the raw material. Okay, guys. Now let us say, before creation of this order, let us say I'll go to stock query MMD so that you can understand. I will enter the one raw material plant and store location execute when I execute are you able to see the stock guys here 1000 tons of the material yeah. now are you able to see any stock on the reserve no not yeah. at all because still we are creating a production order once you create a production order the system will create the reservation for the subcomponents for how much quantity because you are already defined the Bill of material 100 tons of subcomponent 1, 100 tons of subcomponent 2, 3, 4. Got the point? Okay. Next, goods received. So here you are able to see store location. Yeah. Suppose if this material is subjected to batch number, so system will create a batch number also. Okay. If you want the automated. The storage location is filled in automatically. Yes, because store location we, are already maintained in the... Yeah, if master. we go into MM02 to change the master data for the finished yes. source, yeah. we can okay. change the storage location. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. Next, in the control tab, all these parameters you will get from the controlling department in the real time. Okay, these are all yeah. you will get from the controlling mm -hmm. department. So overhead key, for example, I maintain SAP term. So these are all information you will get from the controlling department. As of now, we are following the SAP standards. And here you can see the production schedule profile, what you maintain in the metal master in the work schedule. Next, dates and quantities when you are going to start. And if you click on master data, the system has to display your routing master data and bill of material. If it is not displaying, system will not allow to create a production order. It will throw the error saying that 
master data does not exist okay fine now you are in the creating mode okay the status of the PR. okay now click on material availability now system says the stocks of materials are available now click on capacity so capacity is also available it means now your production order is perfect it is ready save the production order so what you do is schedule C log okay not a problem just s if you want to see log anything what is happening so you can go to functions or is consider you can go to log and you can see here okay any problem is there so warning messages so no need to worry so start date is the past date today scheduling not a problem start this 88 okay fine i'll keep this as a now save the document yes now production order is created in each and every step what you perform okay some changes take yeah. place here now see after the creation of production order what happens in the system these are very important Now, guys, production order is created. Hello. Now, suppose if I go to stock overview, MMB, if I refresh, are you able to see the reserve stock here, guys? Yes, yes, yes. yes. So it means the system has created the reservation. Very nice. Okay, not only for this component, for all the subcomponents. Got it? So, mm -hmm. next step release production order release production order CO02 enter the production order press enter now see here the status of the production order is under CRTD that is created now mm -hmm. click on this flag icon this flag yeah. icon says release order ours are, um, are set up so they are automatically released yeah oh you can go for automatic also I will show that one okay I yeah, we, we've got that's that's how our production orders are all automatic releases. So now the system says REL release production order. Now save. Mm -hmm. Next, goods issue. It refers to production order or with reference to reservation. Normally we create a one second goods issue for the transaction code is MB1A. With the moment time 261. Now here, what is the reservation number we got? 71525. Now I go to MB1A. Moment time 261. 
plant and soil location. At the top of the screen, two reservation. Enter the reservation. Press enter. See guys, the moment when you enter the reservation number, are you able to see yeah. the subcomponents? One, yeah. two, three, four. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, save the document. Yet and what does not exist. What is this? Yes, it is not. So all these are financial settings actually. Okay. Yeah, we, we are promised it as well. <laughs> Waterfall. Now I created goods issue. If I go to stock or you, this reserve stock hundred will become zero, this thousand will become 900. If I click on this refresh button, observe this. Are you able to see? Yes. Yeah. So she has been done. Next. CO 15. Oh, there is another transaction code also, CO 11 and I will discuss it. CO 15. Enter the order number. What is your order number? CO 0. I will copy this number. So go to confirm production order. Enter the order number. Press enter. Final confirmation. Clear. Reservation. Clear. Sick. Now, confirmation of the production order is same. Then, GR. It refers to production order. Either you can use the transaction code MIGO or MB31 as you wish. I'll show both of them. I'll go to MIGO. So here, GR against previously was in purchase order, drop down. Select order. Order means production order. Enter your production order number. Moment type 101. Document date and question date. Press enter. Now see here at the bottom you can see what is the finished material. TM005 R dash TM005. Quantity 100. If you click on where tab, it displays a moment type. Plant and show location. If you click on order data. It is a production order. Add to it item, okay. 
set. This is one option. So it means in MIGO, particularly you need to select the option here order. Whereas if you use MB31, that is particularly for production order. Okay? Okay, cool. Enter the moment at 101. Enter production order, plant and solution. Enter, then save. That's it. Either you can use that functionality or you can use this functionality. Okay. And finally, monitor stock overview. MMBE. Mm -hmm. If you go to stock overview MMBE, enter the finished material, plotted, store execute. So you can see the stock. Are you able to see the stock, guys? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next, technically complete the production order. We call it as a takeout. CO. So once you technically complete the production order, then there will be no changes to express the production order. CO02. Enter the production order number. Press enter. Now see guys here. Status is release, confirm, delivered, everything is there. To complete technically the production order in the menu bar. Functions, restrict processing, complete technically. Will you do this, guys, in your company? Um, possibly. Uh, We've not done it as yet. Possibly. We need to see where it will be relevant. <coughs> this will be done if there is no changes takes place. Okay. Now, before okay. doing this, before doing this, Again, you observe carefully. I'll go to CO02. Then you enter the production order. When you are press enter, you are getting any message? No. Now, after complete technically, see the difference. So, in the menu bar, functions, restrict processing, complete technically. The moment when you click on complete technically, here you will get take out. Observe carefully. It's here. Guys, yeah. If you click on this I button status, it will display your production status. See here, technically completed, confirmed, delivered, pre-costed, everything it displays. Now, save. Now again, you have press enter. Now system says change is not allowed. Okay. Okay. Got the point. Even if you press enter, the total screen is grayed out. Neither you can modify nor change anything because it is complete technically. Oh, we can change that. Yeah. And if you want to see the target and actual cost comparison, now in the menu bar, in the menu bar, go to Cost analysis. In the menu bar, go to cost analysis. Here you will get the total analysis. See, guys, how beautifully the system has given the report. You can see these are all your cost centers and activity types. This is your labor cost, machine cost, setup cost, and this is goods issue. Okay, then it's goods receipt, and to which accounts they have been posted, what is the value, everything. Mm -hmm. This is the total target and actual cost comparison. Okay? Yeah. So after this, Tenth step is 
view. Target actual cost comparison CO02 or you can use CO03, whatever it is. Got the point, guys? Yeah. Now, up to here. The responsibility of the production planning consultant is done. Okay? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Now, next department is controlling, costing department will come to the picture. Yeah. So, we will not involve because We're, no, no. up to here, technical complete. As a PP consultant, you are done. Your cycle, your task is completed. Yeah. Now, Again, I'll show in the menu bar, go to cost balance. It displays the balance here, 69.887,62. What is that? Yeah. But that is a difference between target and actual cost comparison. See here. Again, I'll show an analysis. See here, 69, 88 points. This should be nullified. This has okay. to become zero. When the balance displays zero here in the cost, in the balance, when the balance displays zero, then we can completely close the production order. Yeah. Okay. So with that, from production, from the costing department, the whole cycle is completed. Got the point, guys? Yeah, makes sense. Okay. To be frank, up to here, as a PP consultant, we are done. Mm -hmm. But see, whenever we are learning anything, we have to know in advance. Okay. And that too in SAP, you have to know other functional steps, other functional parameters, execution also, so that it makes sense whether you work in the real time or not. Okay. Knowledge will not be waste. Okay. Okay. So one, once you close the production order, enter cycle will be completed. The enter <coughs> cycle will be completed, guys. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. makes sense. Now, let's have a break for 15 minutes. Yeah. Again, we we'll see. On. Again, we we'll see the remaining part of the movie. Okay. okay. Cool. All right. We'll speak to you in about 15 minutes. Yeah. We'll see the remaining part of the movie. Yeah, okay. Mission impossible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, speak to you speak to you in a bit. <laughs> 